Hey guys, it's Rich. I have vlogged here. We're out here on the first one in the morning. Uh, so we got, uh, only got 10 to do today, but the good thing is we've done 40 in two days. And believe me, around here, that's a lot of, lot of more in two days. Uh, done good year, we've done 14 years, we've done 26 Monday, that's the most we've ever done in a day. And uh, you can see that Tab and M's already started on this. And, uh, I'll knock it out. Uh, the dang boys asking right here. Next to doing this branch right here. Had his mowing that right there, and up there the cemetery up on the hill. After we need all this, uh, we're gonna get a lot more of that. Uh, then we need up and down the side of the steps because we need to reach. We're gonna go up there and we need to have the whole cemetery. So, We'll knock this one out and let's see what it looks like. See, we about got this one done. Got all that branch done. You can see uh, Caleb and uh, Danny boys up there. We need the cemetery. Nate's down here doing the uh, rest of this fight down here. This is the last time. This is a home place, an old home place. You can see the sidewalk still there. There was a house that there. Uh, probably up on the bank there or something. But, Just an uh, old home place. All it is. Uh, we treat it like a house. We kind of trim the edge of the sidewalk. Yeah. Blow it off. We always do this once a month. Uh, that's all they ask us to do. It. Not that bad, but they pay good money to have it done. So we take care of it. They'll get through there when they get done. They got the loose floor up there. See the Danny boys about down up there. And they'll get the loose floor, blow everything off. All the cemetery, all the things on. Things, and then uh, get the sidewalk. That's about all the order this. You see Danny boys taking the loose floor. They blow the steps and stuff off, go up there and they blow the, everything else off. They grass grows up the sidewalk, saving them, knocking them out. On the steps, I mean, they'll knock them out. And they'll come back down, blowing everything off. Nick takes me with it and knock them over the grass off there. Blow it off. Got her done. I think they're just blowing off. Good enough, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's got this place. We're going to a commercial property after this. I'll just come to that over there. Uh, good morning. So I 
have a feeling I will be kicked off. This right here is another uh, property that we're doing this morning. This is a commercial property. This is one of us an old uh, I used to be a real place for years ago. Uh, we got the contract. They got a lot of wires coming out of the ground. They can do it straight and do it for that. I contacted them about it. They can call me for that. Don't worry about it. They can do it for a while. So I can do it. As you can see, I got me a nice hat here. I appreciate it. Long, long care. If you all like those hats, I mean, they are comfortable. If you like them, you need to uh, give them, uh, get on uh, their website. I think it's Sloan's uh, Lawn Care. Chris is gonna kill me if I get it wrong. Uh, I probably will get it wrong. Anyway, you can check their uh, videos out. Sloan's Lawn Care and uh, He'll have a description underneath there. I'm pretty sure it's slumslumcare.com or something like that. So, yeah, you can just check it out and see what it is. Uh, but on this right here, this this job right here we're doing, uh, we do uh, like before pictures and after pictures, and all I have to do is email the pictures in. I don't have to do no paperwork, no invoice or anything like that. And uh, then they'll send me the, it's a 45 day wait. That's the only downfall I have with the commercial properties. If you have to wait 45 days on a lot of them, uh, they go like you do a month, you got 15 days to process all the paperwork and everything, and then they send you the whole month. Uh, that, is, that looks good at the end of the, whenever you get it, but that's the only downfall to it. Residentials are, you know, they pay right on every week. And the only time you lose them, or usually if you want to, or times get hard or something or other. But if you get hooked up with the right commercial uh, property, that's a good thing. Clean the deck out on the mower. You see, when we clean our, we always lay a tarp down underneath of it. That way, when you get done, you just pick the grass up and usually like you can throw it over a creek bank or something like that and get rid of it. But it keeps making a mess in the yard. And gives you a place to lay down too. You're not having to lay down in the grass and do it. And all we do is just pull up on one side of the ramp there. He'll reach it to get it, and he get about three quarters of it. Then he'll go over and uh, I see a bud on the other side. Hi. A bud feather. Oh. Don't kill a bud. Get that cleaned out real good. Get ready to go to the next job. The Danny Boy Specialty. This is another one that we just got through finishing up. You can see we striped it this way. You can see we got like a checkerboard in it. So we striped it going that way. Looks really nice. Hard to see where the sun's hitting it. That way. As you can see, good job. Really like the looks of it. Looks really good. There's two more properties we've been doing. Got this one done. That one's all mowed. Tape finishing it up on the 
side of the house over there. Got Nick down there on the creek bank. Daddy's on this bank. I'm in the shade. That's where I like it. Now these boys are doing a good job there. We got one more to do after this. It's going to be time to go home and get ready for church tonight. So, we're going to try to get them finished up. If you're out here and you're making good money, the less people knows about the business, the better off it is. Because, number one, you're going to have these uh, knotheads wanting to come in and start robbing you and everything. They're going to think you carry a bunch of money well on you and things, but the real thing is that you ain't got everybody and their brother trying to start a lawn care company and trying to come out here and take over the business and maybe hurt hurt us and undercut us and everything in the world. Now, that's the way I look at it. I, uh, I don't tell anybody uh, anything about our business. I just try to just uh, do our thing and whatever it is, it is. And, don't worry about it because uh, I've always said that lawn care business is the best kept secret they are because number one people don't know anything about the type of money that you can make and if there wasn't no money in it number one I sure wouldn't be doing it and there's a lot of guys out here a whole lot bigger than Caleb is are doing this uh, and they live they live the life but now they earn it they work for it and they earn it but uh, we're going to finish up the week with uh, 60 some properties 62 63 between 62 and 64 properties and you know uh a lot of people say, well, heck, I do that in three days. Well, I don't think you do what we do in three days because the properties we do are, we do some big properties. And, but that's not no big deal. I mean, I'm not worried about what people think. So anyway, we do everything we can. We work, started out uh, this morning at 7 o'clock. Uh, we were mowing by 7.15, 7.20. You don't, uh, and then you work till dark, so I don't really worry about what people think. But, you know, uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, on Wednesday we try to get a short day to where I can go to church. Uh, we go to church because, number one, this is a Christian-based company uh, because we're nothing without God. God has given us, allowed us, and blessed this company and allowed us to be able to do and have what we have. Blessed us with employees, uh, blessed us with the equipment, the customers. Uh, everybody said, you do it. You don't do nothing without God blessing you. You don't get up in the morning unless God blessed you. Uh, but I'm going to end this video right here, and I want you to just think, you know, uh, don't worry about getting respect from people. And I'm talking about people in general. I'm not talking about your customers. Your customers, well, you do a good job. Your customers will respect you. You do a good job, show up like you're supposed to. You will get customers. Because word of mouth will get you the business. Everybody talks to their neighbors. The neighbors talk to the, their neighbor, uh, other their friends and stuff. The word does get around. So don't never think that you ain't going to make it. Uh, because just do a good job. Take your time. Get the job right. I always remember the most important job that you have in lawn care is the job that you're doing. It don't matter what the price is. Every job counts. So we're going to end this video here, and I'll talk at you later. And don't forget out there and get on the grass grind. And again, I want to thank Sloan's Lawn Care for uh, the hats. Uh, they're good, nice hats, well worth the money. And I'm telling you right now, uh, let's support each other. Uh, let's don't play the old stupid games with uh, some of these other people that want to do uh, panhandling. 
trying to get money over the internet. Uh, if I had enough, I don't care. I don't care who uh, I, I back up. If you're doing out here doing the job, you deserve a little bit of respect from each. We all deserve each other's respect. So let's just get out here and do it and help one another any way they can. Because I tell you, I get all kinds of information from YouTube. Uh, it's not a game. And, uh, you know, if I never get a 1,000 subscribers, it, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm going to watch, watch the people that helps me. One Love, uh, Acme Mowing, uh, Brown's Lawn Maintenance, Top Notch. Uh, I've learned so much from Top Notch, just watching him, uh, the things he's done, the changes he's made, and the equipment. Now, I don't have no walkers, because I don't have no use for them. Uh, we don't mag nothing. We mow everything. We don't mag. But anyway, there's all kinds of them, and I'm going to try to, uh, and a happy, happy family, and another good one I learned from is uh, Blades of Grass. Johnny, watch him. Uh, there's just so many. I'm, I, and if I forget them, I'm sorry. And uh, naturally, you know, uh, Sloan's Lawn Care, uh, I, I don't know. There's just a lot of them. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll end it right here. And, and thank you for watching. And God bless each and every one of you.